at Chicago schools, more fallout from a sex abuse scandal following reports the system failed to protect abused students for years in more than 100 cases and now a dispute over who should lead the investigation. Let's turn to CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely. It is heartbreaking. It is completely unacceptable. As he made an appearance in Joliet, another call for an independent investigation into the CPS sex abuse scandal, this time from Governor Rauner. This deserves an independent investigation, and we have to take strong action to keep our students and our staff safe. But is the path taken by CPS independent enough? You have some concerns that CPS might be going down a bad road on this sex abuse investigation. Our office has a record of handling challenging investigations in a credible way. CPS Inspector General Nicholas Schuler says school board attorneys can't both investigate abuse and defend the system against abuse allegations. They can't, they can't be on both sides of this. They can't be investigating this with the idea that they're going to get to the bottom of of it, follow the evidence wherever they may lead, and simultaneously have to be worrying about down, you know, the, uh, the uh, uh, legal liability that they might face. School CEO Janice Jackson hired former federal prosecutor Maggie Hickey to do a top to bottom review. I'm absolutely confident in Janice's leadership, absolutely confident as well in what uh, she's doing and what the board did the other day in hiring a former U.S. attorney. But Schuler believes a conflict still exists. They picked the person they wanted to look into this, and, you know, that's going to that's gonna color this. Now, just to be clear, Schuler is proposing that all future CPS sex abuse cases should be handled by his office. He says his office could also dive into past cases as well, but admittedly, he would need far more staff than he has now. But, Rob, no one can question Schuler's independence. It was his ethics investigation that brought down former school CEO Forrest Claypool. So what's your sense on what's going to happen as they move forward with all these investigations and apparently the district not doing enough? Well, I think there is a desire to change and try to get this right. It's a huge political liability, for one thing, for the mayor. However, uh, Schuler thinks that they're still trying to manage this and keep it inside. He thinks he could, uh, because of his independence, he could provide more sunlight and more transparency. Okay, Derek, thank you.